So Joe Biden ran on canceling $10,000 worth of student debt, means tested, because of course. Um, however, after he actually won, you had some unlikely allies in the fight to cancel at least more student debt in Chuck Schumer who was proposing $50,000 via executive order, which would be substantial. And I think that it shouldn't even be a question. 100% of student loan debt should be canceled. But if we had to barter with Democrats and they said, look, counterproposal, $50,000, I would take that. I think that is better than nothing. $10,000, however, that isn't sufficient. It's not going to put a dent in our monthly payments in what is bogging down this entire generation. So you have to do more. Like $10,000 just isn't enough. He was asked about this in uh, a CNN town hall. And for the first time, I've heard him give a direct answer. And unsurprisingly, the answer that he gave did not please me. <laughs> so take a look. And then I have quite a bit to say afterwards. Loans are crushing my family, friends, and fellow Americans. Me too. <laughs> The American dream is to kidding. succeed, but how can we fulfill that dream when debt is many people's only option for a degree? We need student loan forgiveness beyond the potential $10,000 your administration has proposed. We need at least a $50,000 minimum. What will you do to make that happen? I will not make that happen. It depends on whether or not you go to a private university or a public university. It depends on the idea that I say to a community, I'm going to forgive the debt, the billions of dollars of debt for people who have gone to Harvard and Yale and Penn and schools, my children. I went to a great school, I went to a state school. Um, but is that going to be forgiven rather than use that money to provide for early education for young uh, children who are come from disadvantaged circumstances? But here's what I think. I think everyone, and I've been proposing this for four years, Everyone should be able to go to community college for free, for free. That's, that costs $9 billion, and we should pay for it. In the tax policies we have now, we should be able to pay for it. You spend almost that amount of money as a break for people who own racehorses. And I think any family making under $125,000 whose kids go to a state university they get into, that should be free. As so that was terrible. An absolutely atrocious answer, but this isn't necessarily surprising. It's Joe Biden. You know, I think that if even someone like Chuck Schumer is saying $50,000 should be canceled, I get that he's saying this because he doesn't want AOC to primary him. Still, I mean, if someone like Chuck Schumer, who is a moderate to conservative Democrat, is on board with $50,000, maybe move a little bit. Instead of $10,000, if you don't want to go all the way up to $50,000, 25,000. I mean, you have to be able to accommodate people in your party who want you to do more, to be more bold. But what he said there, quite frankly, is I will not make that happen. And then he went on to give us an answer that is just nothing more than word salad. He started talking about early childhood education and making community colleges free. These are different topics. Early childhood education in and of itself, very important. Uh, free community colleges, free colleges in general, really important issue. This is a different issue. We're talking about an entire generation of millennials and Gen Zers who are bogged down, who can't purchase cars and homes, who can't stimulate the economy because their monthly payments on their student debt is insane. And even if you qualified for Pell Grants, many folks had to take out student loans just to survive. Because if we work one job or two jobs, that's not enough to pay the bills, to pay rent. I myself was working two jobs through college, both part-time, and um, I still had to take out student loans because I had to pay for gas to get to school. I had to pay to feed myself. It's just these are things that his privileged ass never has to think about. But his answer is, oh, well, you know, I don't want to cancel the debt of people who went to Harvard or Yale. That is nonsensical. Uh, I don't know if Joe Biden uh, knows this or not, but rich people, people who went to Ivy League schools, they don't need their debt canceled. If you went to Harvard, you're going to be okay. But what we're asking is for you to cancel everyone's debt. And so that way, if a couple of richies fall through the cracks, people who graduated at Yale or Harvard, 
what we do is we tax them higher. They can pay it back in a different way. Make it a universal program, just with a swipe of a pen, cancel 50000 and you'd be a hero. You would guarantee your re-election in 2024. Possibly you'd save Democrats from losing the House in 2022. It's good politics. It's good policy. But only a brain-dead moron wouldn't want to do something like this. So, um, you know, it's... It's Joe Biden. So this is what we've come to expect. And um, yeah, I, I am pleased to see, however, members of Congress actually speaking out against his answer here. So AOC actually retweeted that video and she said, who cares what school someone went to? Entire generations of working class kids were encouraged to go into more debt under the guise of elitism. This is wrong. Nowhere does it say we must trade off early childhood education for student loan forgiveness. We can have both. And to her credit, even Elizabeth Warren spoke out and encouraged Joe Biden to do more. You want to talk about who's going to get helped? Keep in mind, 40% of the people who are dealing right now with student loan debt do not have a college diploma. These are people who did what we wanted them to do. They tried. But for one reason or another, they couldn't make it. Maybe because they were working three jobs, maybe because another baby was born. But for whatever reason, they didn't make it all the way through to their diploma. And that means these are people right now who are earning what a high school grad can earn, but who are struggling right. with student loan debt. We cancel $50,000 worth of student loan debt. And what that will mean is that 85% of those who are struggling with student loan debt right now, about 40 million people will see their student loan debt completely wiped out. And the rest will see a big hunk of it cut away. And here's the thing, that's not only good for the people who have student loan debt. In fact, it's life transformative for them, but it's good for everybody else who doesn't have student loan yep. debt. And the reason for that is it helps boost the whole economy. We get more people buying homes. We get more people starting small businesses. That student loan debt is holding back our economy. This was true long before the pandemic came along. We get people shaken free from that student loan debt, and we have an economy that is stronger, more robust. Number one thing that President Biden can do right now for this economy, cancel $50,000 worth of student loan debt. The number one thing he can do for young people, cancel student loan debt. The number one thing he can do to help close the black-white wealth gap is cancel $50,000 worth of student loan debt. It would be transformative for families and transformative for this nation. She is absolutely correct. Credit where it's due. If only she didn't shiv the only candidate in the back, who wanted to cancel 100% of student loans. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm so sorry. I'm still bitter. Uh, but what she's saying here, the substance of what she's saying, putting aside her terrible politics and spinelessness, she's correct. Now, Ilhan Omar quote tweeted that video with Elizabeth Warren and added, is student debt a rich kid problem? No, 40% of people with student loan debt don't even have a college degree. These have been some of the hardest hit families during the pandemic and are three times more likely to default. Now, additionally, Ayanna Presley shared a petition where she urges Biden to cancel, I'm assuming, 100% of student debt. And I'm going to link to that down below. I think that you have to keep the pressure on. I don't expect Joe Biden to uh, want to make any changes here unless he is continuously hounded about this. Now, remember, before he ran, uh, he said, I don't care about millennials. So this is exactly what we expected from Joe Biden. The callousness, the lack of regard for the people who are suffering. His generation was not bogged down by student debt. Our generation is. So it is incumbent on us to, even if he's not going to budge, pressure him continuously to make sure that we inch him close closer in the correct direction um this is going to be a coordinated grassroots effort if we want student debt to be eliminated we have to fight for it we can't just accept oh well joe biden said no so i guess i'll just uh, sit on my hands now no you keep up the pressure you make his life a living hell until he buckles and does what we want him to do so I'll leave that there. I think that this uh, was expected from Joe Biden. Nonetheless, um, it is unacceptable. Therefore, we will continue to fight for what is right. And that is complete cancellation. If you can't even do 50,000, then um, yeah, we're not, we're not going to accept that. You know, 
you 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 know <laughs> you know the you know the thing thing you're getting nervous man man